Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and I haven't really made a video for a few days, so uh, hopefully this one actually makes its way to YouTube. I'm having a ton of fun trying a bunch of new skills, as you may know if you've been watching on twitch.tv slash thisisbadger, and today I'm showcasing an Eye of Winter character that I'm playing. Now, fair warning, there's a fair bit of currency invested into this, and I will be investing more, but it is an Eye of Winter self-cast unleash occultist. Uh, basically, the tree's looking something like this. We've got a glorious vanity. I, I don't have enough health. Uh, <laughs> I need more. I need to get my cluster jewel. We're sitting at, what, level 85 right now. So a few more levels, getting a cluster jewel in there and some more damage. But I'm going for the elusive one-shot of Conquerors. Now, I'm still a fair way off, and I'm not quite sure exactly whether Eye of Winter can do it. But there's a really neat interaction with Eye of Winter, Chain, and Hydrosphere. I'm sure a lot of you know this. I think uh, Uberdan has been playing around with this skill. I think some miners have been playing it. But I decided to go for the Unleash route and do a one-button press and see how close we can get to killing Conquerors in one shot. Um, so without, you know, saying too much about the build, uh, fair warning once again, this build is pretty squishy right now. Uh, I'm very much investing into damage. There's, you know, a fair uh, shot uh, or chance that I do die in this map here. But this is a Veritania map. So it is a T16 con uh, T15 Conqueror, T16. Anyway, it's one of those, and it's a Colosseum map, which can be a little dangerous, but I'm going to talk about the build as we showcase the build right here. So, the build does have quite a lot of damage. It's got pretty good clear as well, and I've got basically six Unleashes, or five stacks of Unleash, which basically casts six times every time I use it. It goes like this, and then uh, I can do a bit of chaining and shotgunning with a Snake Pit Ring. We're generating ten Power Charges and ten Frenzy Charges with Farrell's Fur, Got a really nice plus power charge and maximum number of seals hubris circlet right here and obviously using badger the brotherhood to get our max frenzies equal to our max power charges double void battery uh and then the rest of just uh life and everything like that through the gear no damage flasks or anything anyway so uh anywhere so i'm not uh you know relying on flasks to be good for damage but you know if i am going for the elusive one shot i probably am going to be oh my goodness right off the bat a crazy crazy pack at the start here mm. We may even die right at the start because of a shrine sitting right here. Um, so that was a little bit dangerous. We didn't die. Uh, if we can pick up the shrine, there we go, right about like that. Whew, that was a little bit risky right at the start there. But uh, uh, we're running through here. So most of the time, you kind of throw an unleash and it kills the whole pack. But if there's a massive pack, it might not chain as much uh, to be able to kill everything. So you can see there, lots of Herald of Ice explosions. Feels pretty nice if you don't get one shot. Uh, and so... Uh, increasing the effective health of this build is going to be what we're going to be doing, uh, as well as increasing the damage through cluster jewels and uh, normal jewels, getting a bunch more crit multi, etc, etc. So there's a few more things that I need to do as well. Obviously right now Eye of Winter is only level 19. That can go up to a level 21 gem if I do want to make it that far. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we can see the damage of this build against the Conqueror soon, but uh, this map uh, is a little bit... Uh, uh, it's a little bit rough to get through. You know what I'm going to do? Let's do a little bit of a cut, and I'll uh, I'll cut to the Conqueror rather than me grinding through this slow map with the multi-phase boss, all right? So I'll see you guys very, very soon. Okay, we're back. I killed the boss. I surprisingly didn't die, so we've got all the portals. We're going to try and see what we could do with uh, this uh, Veritania right here. Now, the way that this works, as I said, and I'll try and showcase it to the best that I can, but Veritania may move around a lot. Basically, you want to put down your Hydrosphere a little bit away from the boss. So say that this dead, uh, this uh, dead Duressa right here is Veritania. Probably want to put it behind or maybe to, you know, diagonally to the side, but enough that it's in chaining range. Then your Hydrosphere, you want to stand about this far away. So Hydrosphere will kind of hit the boss, uh, hit as many times with as many projectiles as it can, and then the other projectiles should hopefully, uh, some of the other projectiles should hit the Hydrosphere, chain back off and hit the boss. Now, um, I'm still trying to figure out the exact best place to put it. I don't really know where the best place to put it is, but if you get it right, it does some pretty tasty damage, and that's where we're looking for the one shot. So, let's see what we can do, see how much damage we can do right here. Uh, I've got my mana flask up a little bit, and I've got a portal sitting right outside there, so let's see what we can do here. Alright, let's jump in. Welcome. Time has no meaning. So I'll put my Hydrosphere right about here, I think. I'll do this. Endless. Sniper's Mark. Mm, not quite amazing. See, you know... Where? Oh, I didn't even get a crit there. So, you know, you probably want to get a crit as well if you can. 
How much did that do? Okay, so you see that one there? That did about half her health from one unleash. So you can see when it shotguns, it does a pretty darn good job of shotgunning. Uh, but when it doesn't, it takes a little bit more. That should hopefully kill. Yeah, there we go. So, we're looking for that elusive one-shot. I would say you. we're probably but around... You and I are Wait for Veritanya to, to talk there. Together forever. Yeah, thanks Veritanya. We're probably about 40% more damage off with a perfectly placed Hydrosphere to be able to one-shot something like a Veritanya or something like that. Um, so it's looking pretty nice. Uh, if you want the POB, I will put the scuffed POB down below of what I'm just working with myself. It's just basically a copy-paste of my character, because uh, I'm not really working off anything I built myself. The upgrades we're looking for, as I said, you know, quite a bit more damage out of a plus two uh, on our Eye of Winter. Uh, then I'm looking at changing out Hypothermia for a, um, uh, a level five Awakened added cold damage, because that also gives plus one to our Eye of Winter projectile cold spell right here. The last little bits are obviously getting a uh, Blanketed Snow 10% uh, penetration against chilled enemies in our cluster, and then a medium cluster, probably just a little bit more damage through there, and then that will give us a couple more jewel slots to then put some, you know, two to three mod crit multi jewels in there as well. That's basically how it's looking. I think that's going to be enough to push us over the line. Uh, if you want to come and have a look at this build uh, and watch me die a lot on this as we try and hit that elusive uh, one-shot conqueror goal, then uh, you know, jump over to twitch.tv slash thisisbadger. Uh, and then a build guide should be out. Uh, I would say it's delayed this week because uh, there's been a lot of stuff happening with my internet and everything like that. But hopefully, maybe like a Monday or Tuesday, a build guide for this character. Uh, if you do want to give it a go yourself. That's all I really have to say. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hit that sub button if you like the content. And as always, what do I say? I don't know. That's my outro. See ya.